text but we should see the scripture as it is wherever it talks about duality fine i have no problem wherever it talks about non duality i have fine wherever it talks about vishishta advaita i have fine, no problem if you see that way christianity what is it just a path hinduism just a path. zoroastrianism everything all isms are just paths to reach the same reality so an advaita vedanta will come and say advaita vedanta is the final thing and in advaita vedanta there are 40 schools mind you 40 schools all people will be fighting naisha tarkena matirapaneya you will not reach practice swami ji says religion is realization one ounce of practice is better than 20000 tons of talk so you will not re- reach the ultimate destination by this if it could be uh, reach then all our great professors of philosophy across the world would have become gnanis and brahma gnanis it doesn't happen that way the whenever some seminar takes place in universities calcutta or jadavpur etc there are some old croonies who come and sit and say yes, yes, what nice concept etc but they are that old croonies even at the this is what is that gatam api vayo hmm bhaja govindam bhaja govindam wonderful him so that person has gone means is all thing gone tadapi na munchati asha pasha everything is gone no energy nothing but still that person wants i will live i have to see the marriage of the son of my granddaughter or something like that so much of hope so this is there this is there so all these differences and all these wordings all these kind of explanations will lead us nowhere we need to practice and understand where everything is shobshialer akrak all the jackals howl the same way there shri ramakrishna is why does shri ramakrishna uh, why is he so understandable because he speaks from practice it's from the experiential level he speaks there is another text called philokalia how many of you know of this text philokalia philokalia means love of the beautiful kalia means beautiful philo means love philosophy philology yeah it is actually not in english it was originally in greek so translated in english philokalia this is the teachings these are the teachings of desert fathers those fathers who were there in egypt after constantinople said that christianity is the state religion you know so, so many other things so they had they there was a rift in christianity these people said that no christianity will be like what it was when church uh, uh, jesus christ was there those few disciples they left everything foxes have holes what is their quotation birds have nests but the sons of god have no place to lay their heads upon so this was the ideal of renunciation that fox has place bird has a place but i who depends on god will have no place swami vivekananda in his wonderful sanyasi song of the sanyasi how many of you have read song of the sanyasi how many of you have read you have not read song of sanyasi you have to read sky is my roof grass is my bed sky is thy roof grass is thy bed and food what chance may bring say sanyas in bold om tat sat om it's a very inspiring poem mm-hmm. so they said that we will have that kind of life and they went to a more ascetic and more rigorous life and they wrote they gave a lot of teachings and the collection is called it is so so understandable so simple and so clear why because it comes from experience like engineer and the mechanic wala see an automobile engineer will have lot of things to tell but if you have to repair your vehicle you go to that mechanic wala he will do it faster and properly
Ramana Maharishi's language is also very simple. No, their experience, their experience also was very profound. Actually, that is also very important. Exper if your experience is profound, what happens in, in even in secular subjects, physics? A master of physics will teach you the concepts very clearly. A person who is himself confused will put it in a very serious language and nothing you will be able to understand. Like that. In spirituality also same thing. So, we will go to the next mantra which finishes this imagery of this thing. Indriyani Hayan Ahuhu Vishayan Teshu Gocharan Atmendriya Mano Yuktam Bhokte Tyahu Manishinaha So Manishinaha. So people who believe in this example of Ratha chariot. They or those people Ahu, they say Manishinaha, Indriyani Hayanahu. They say that we saw all the elements of the chariot, but the roads, roads are the sense organ, objects, Indriyani, the sense organs, Hayan, the sense organs are the horses. Sense organs are the horses and the objects are the roads. Sense objects are the roads. Sense organs are the horses and sense objects are the horse. Haya, haya means, haya means horse. Hayaha, hayan means horses. So, indriyani hayan ahu. Actually, here it is wrong. It should be, this meaning is wrong. It should be the Indriyani Hayanahu, uh, sense organs are the horses. The same thing, type, typing mistake. Teshu Vishayan Gochara Nahu, and also the roads are the sense objects. So, the owner of the chariot is Atma, the bridle is. Charioteer is Buddhi and chariot is body and the horses are sense organs and the road is sense objects. Atmendriya mano yuktam bhokta. So the self together with the body, mind and the senses as the enjoyer. This is very important you have to understand as you were asking that question. No? Uh, this communication and all that. So, who is the bhokta? You see, what is the goal of spiritual life? To go beyond this concept of enjoyership and doership. Kartritva bhoktritva. Shankaracharya very beautifully puts it in his commentary or the introduction to his commentary on Brahma Sutras, Adhyasa Bhashya. Towards the end, he says, What is the idea? to get rid of bhoktritva kartritva. Now, so because of ignorance, atmendriya mano yuktam bhokta, how do we become bhokta? So, if you, if you want to get rid, you should understand where is the problem. If you do not know the problem, how can you solve it? So, you should, for, to troubleshoot, you should know the trouble. So, here what is the trouble? This atmendriya mano yuktam, chit jada granti, this Knotting or confusing of the snake for the of the uh, yes uh, snake is being confused instead of the rope. Atma is being spiritual is being taken as material. We are taking uh, spiritual to be material. Chit jada jada is material and chit is conscious spiritual. We are confusing the uh, spiritual to be material. That is the problem. So, instead of understanding Atman, you are Mano Indriya, Mano Yuktam, Atma Indriya Mano Yuktam. You are confusing it. In Bengali, there is an expression, Lejagobar. 
everything is being confused no so all full confusion some people work so they will work this file that file this everything will be scattered and whole day they will spend in finding some paper which will be there itself but so complete chaos complete mismanagement so that is what atmendriya manoyuktam so your mind and senses have been confused as the atman and that is why you become bhukta so if you have to remove this bhaktrat what you have to do you have to separate how will you separate you have to understand that you are not the mind and you are not the sense organs this is the so this finishes the imagery now i was reading some works of saint teresa of avila and then i came across this poem and brought i want to share it with you the poem is titled she used to write poems originally in spanish all her writings are in spanish she was not a very literate woman and her spanish was very direct much like sri ramakrishna's bengali very rustic and direct and it has been translated so she says this poem is will just say this before i read this poem i just want to draw your attention to the fact that again in christianity or in christian theology is trinity what is it say what is the prayer they say in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen okay this is the prayer so this is the trinity that is how it is you cannot see the father, uh, uh, father directly it is through the son you have to see so all the saints who said that they had realization had to go on lot of persecution in fact some people had to go before the inquisition there was a thing which hunting and they used to have a inquisition centuries of avila and so had to go before inquisition she was almost pronounced that she is a mad cap anyway so the first sign that you are becoming spiritual is that you will be pronounced mad cap <laughs> sri ramakrishna also was told and then this shringeri there was one person who wrote a wonderful commentary on the viveka chudamani he was also called a lunatic shankaracharya so all great people have this you know credit will just say this that is the name of the poem we bloomed in spring you just see the language we bloomed in spring our bodies are the leaves of god the apparent seasons of life and death this is what struck me so much in christianity there is only one life you don't have reincarnation there is no reincarnation theory in christianity and here we have a very important christian saint saying that apparent seasons of life and death na hanyate hanya mane sharire our eyes can suffer apparent that means they are not there apparent seasons they come and go what life and death our eyes can suffer but our souls dear i will just say this forthright they are god himself atma is brahman i don't see the difference i'm not able to see the difference honestly there is no difference but our souls dear i will just say this forthright they are god himself we will never perish unless he does we will never perish unless he does you can google it the poem is will just say this there is another rendition translation of this poem which is not very good capital h god perishes so what same thing that you are brahman she is putting it in a different language that's all and you will never perish unless he does unless brahman perishes which is not going to happen see we bloomed in spring why in spring because it is a season no so spring is one season in one season you will come and in another season you will go and our bodies are the leaves of god in spring new leaves sprout so our bodies are what god urdhva moolam adashakham you see this is all there in upanishads this imagery is there in the gita urdhva moolam adashakham so the apparent seasons of life and death our eyes can suffer means it seems that we are living and we are dying our eyes can suffer means what apparently it seems that we are taking birth and we die but our souls dear i will just say this forthright with conviction they are god himself we will never perish unless he does it's so inspiring and so enthusing giving so much of motivation that 
Saint Teresa of Avila in the 16th century, she is telling the same thing which has been told long back in the Upanishads. So forget about theology, forget about what so called philosophers say, actually in experience all jackals house the same way. Sri Ramakrishna said that. Thank you. Any questions you have, you can ask. Yes. No, it is not Advaita, it is Ramakrishna Mutt. Ramakrishna Mutt's one branch is Advaita Ashrama. Why did you choose that? There are other disciples of Ramakrishna who are not necessarily Advaita. I chose this because what I am telling now, that experiential, on the experiential plane, in fact, I will not say it will be audacious on my part to say that I chose it. In fact, Sri Ramakrishna chose me. But uh, you are asking uh, the very fact that. Um, there are so many parts to arrive at the same reality. How many people actually say that? No, no. Actually, his question is a little different. He thinks that he has chosen Advaita Ashram. It's not chosen, it's a posting he has now. Oh, exactly. Even in no, I, I joined the Ramakrishna order. I'm, order. I belong to the Ramakrishna order. It has got many branches. Now we have oh, a little okay. more than 200 branches in across the world. And I have, every monk can be given any responsibility at any time. And so now I have been posted as the city editor of Prabuddha Bharata magazine in Advaita Ashrama, also looking after publication. This is my, and Advaita Ashrama is the only one ashrama which Swami Vivekananda wanted where there will be practice of Advaita, means non ritual uh, spiritual practice. There will be no uh, temple, no uh, arati, nothing, no puja, no worship. But before coming here, I was in Vrindavan. <laughs> so you can understand, Vrindavan is the epitome of dual, dualistic worship. So we have a wonderful temple there. Most of the places we have temple, Belur Mat has a temple. So it is not that we are just for Advaita. But why I joined the Ramakrishna order? Because as many faiths, so many paths, Sri Ramakrishna said that. This Catholicity to accept everything, at least I don't find anywhere else. That's why. Guru, uh, Guru, oh, what are you asking? Whether that word is uh, the gender of the word itself? Uh, can I uh, accept a woman as Guru? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. No, it's not an ashram, it's a whole order, it's an organization, Sarada Mat. It's, a, it's not there in scripture, it's what we call Subhashita. There are many Sanskrit uh, shlokas which just uh, do around, you know, adage, what we say adage. Okay. But uh, you, you did not get it in Google? Yeah, I got it, but it is not where the location of it is. For that you will do little more Google Ainamaha. You see, the psychology is, we all of us, we stop at the first page and all of us, The other technique I will tell you is to tinker the, means play around with the spelling. Huh. Like you say. Huh. And then I actually wrote it in Sanskrit and pasted that also. Hmm. And that's why I got better results. But hmm. still location was not clear. And I wanted to know the second line. If you can wait for some time, I will now itself find out and tell you. Priyam cha na anusham bruyat. Priyam cha na anrutam bruyat. Priyam cha. Even if it is, uh, cha here is used in the sense of also, not end, also. Even if it is, and it should understand it as even if it is. Even if it is pleasant or sweet, priyam, pleasant. Anritam, ritam means truth, truth, truth. Ritam means truth, one meaning of ritam is truth. Anritam, ana plus ritam, anritam is untruth. Priyamcha Anritam Mahabruyat means even if it is pleasant, sweet, 
don't tell untruth devil quotes the scripture half you have to quote have i told you the incident which happened uh, uh, i told you no ha ah. so osho incident did i tell you ha ah. how many of you remember that one? again i can tell no harm in repeating good things no? so uh, there was a uh, interfaith meet in rajkot uh, when bhuteshananda ji who was the 12th mm-hmm. president of ramakrishna martin mission was the head of that center so this interfaith meet was there and this rajneesh he was a professor a very very brilliant person before he became osho and he had also come to the meet and he quoted from scriptures and first of all he proved that monasticism is useless then brahmacharya is useless which he kept on telling till his death so many things he squashed one by one one by one he quoted and he proved he quoted and he proved by the end of his i think one hour lecture all great pundits who were there were all dejected that hinduism has been shattered to pieces then bhuteshanand ji who was known to be a great scholar in scriptures he he did not have any note anything and he came to the uh, mic and then he again quoted everything so like half no satyam vada priyam vada ma vada satyam priyam that's all how can a couplet end with one line nobody even thinks that that is the joke you see we are so ignorant when you say a shloka it has to be always two lines how can it end with one line nobody even asks that question you just tell something in sanskrit most of the people don't understand and they think you are a scholar you can even tell anything you want means any lavana namaha something you tell that people will one visarga you put namaha see that's what all prophet uh, this pujari is doing ashtotara shata namavali 108 particularly you can see this very because sanskrit is very less used in north indian temples i don't know why uh, but if you go to south india you will see ashtotra shata nama so the if you are giving 5 rupees it will be ajudai nama this is that's all your this is the uh, deepa you can take then if you are giving 100 rupees achutay nama ganeshay nama this is nama it little up to some time you can listen but if you give 500 means that fellow will come and big mala he will garland and all that you see depends so bhuteshan ji took up every one of the quotation and he quoted it in full gave the context from where it has been quoted and he said this fellow is simply taking you for a ride and this is not this without not another this of course this is a incident which i have heard and which is of course documented uh, about palki wala i told you you know but again i will tell you when i was uh, not a monk of course i was a student i had this fortune of attending the famous budget lectures of nani ardeshi palki wala in university of uh, madras chepak this uh, one uh, hall main hall so everybody will be sitting like this and that person will be standing in the well and he was telling going on quoting from 1922 to 1961 so many up till 1992 all the amendments proviso this this halfway through the lecture he smiles and says you may be wondering how i am able to do it without one single note and then he says that brahmacharya swami vivekananda said that if you practice brahmacharya for 12 years a special nerve opens called medha nadi he was a married person but he did that you see he used to give lectures in vankhede stadium or i don't know which stadium i think vankhede stadium in mumbai no vankhede stadium more than 1 lakh people used to attend lectures on budget can you imagine even amitabh bachchan i don't know whether he will get that much audience on budget and he is telling this budget this section has been removed that section has power power of chastity purity power of sincerity power of practice and after his passing away so many books on nani palkiwala so many books i got one book there is one 
company called Lexus Butterworth. I think I also told this courtroom genius. In fact, I had again the privilege of reading his judgments. I told you with due respect to Palki Vaya, we beg to differ. In Supreme mm -hmm. Court, the judge, justice is saying we beg mm -hmm. to differ. So they publish it and almost in every couple of months it has to be reprinted. So much of demand for that book. So you see it is possible, it is possible. So many people have done, so many people are doing, it is possible. It is always possible to go to the preferable. But we do not accept. Again this question was asked by Arjuna and then he said what? Atakkena prayukta yoyam baladiva niyojayata. As though by force somebody is propelling me to do. Then he says that yes, it is karma and krodha. It is desire which propels you to do all these things. So the question is, if such things is po are possible, then why don't we do? Because of unexplicable, inexplicable thing, this happens. So we can all practice. All of us, you see this, we will never perish unless he does. We will never perish. Inexplicable, no? <laughs> Actually, it is not that everybody persecuted. There was a group of people. In fact, even among, there is a series, television series on our life, which was made by uh, Spanish television, government television and it is in Spanish but subtitles are there. So you can see it so well done. So there was a group of people emo, even among uh, novitiates who didn't want to uh, follow her because uh, didn't want her in fact because she was austere. So she said pray, nobody wants to pray. They want to just be in the, at one point in that period medieval uh, time lot of people used to join the church for a prosperous life. This trend has been seen in India in belts, tribal belts and in some places in Tamil Nadu, in Kerala, people being converted as uh, people becoming nuns and uh, monks. In Tamil Nadu particularly if you go to Nagarkoil district, all these uh, coastal regions Many people, number of people becoming, they say sabai, in Tamil they use the word sabai, means joining the order, they join, for what? They join for a, because after 12th they join, you know, just after finishing school they join. So you get graduation, you do post graduation, you go to some other place, you do your doctorate in secular subjects and then you are posted as some principal and so it's a huge life and you have a, a very good reputation, you have power in the society. Education and medicine in India means Christian institution and they do such a wonderful Ramakrishna mission, we are not even 1% of that, we are not even close to 1%. Those things may be there but I have never seen service like Christian people can. They serve like anything in the name of God, yes. And so this, and so that, that is why the fallout is lot of corruption, moral corruption. Lot of, because the idea was not that, the idea was getting settled in society. So moral laxity. That may be there, that may be a fallout, but still good things are also there. So why I am telling you is, in that time, there was lot of opposition. Lot of people went against her. But there was a group also who were inspired by her life. In fact, towards the end of her life, she started a, a new order of Carmelites, discalced nuns of Carmelite. They are very, they don't go for begging, they sew clothes and then they sell it through somebody and they get the money and then they do it and they don't have separate cells. They all stay together in one hall eat very frugal kind of food, so that she started. They don't wear slippers. Here not wearing slippers is understandable. There they don't wear slippers in such cold. No, 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 not in Italy, in Spain, in America. This, this is there in uh, all over the world now. This is there all over the world. So anyway, this she started 
and then she had a disciple who was very illustrious his name was saint john of the cross okay and he came and then first saint john of the cross was interestingly canonized in christianity also there's a lot of persecution on women even today a woman cannot uh, become a confessor means a woman cannot take confession a woman has to give con uh, the confession of a woman has to be she may be a nun she may be a saint also so the confession of uh, saint therese of avila was always taken by a male and and he was canonized saint john of the cross who was the disciple of saint therese of avila was canonized first means made a saint and he was made the doctor of the church what is a doctor of the church a church when somebody is made a doctor his or her teachings will be as good as the gospel like saint matthew or saint mark so much of importance was given so saint teresa afterwards was made the saint and she was also made the doctor of the church so there was a group which always was against her but at the same time there was a group which was for all good people there will be lot of opposition so whenever you are getting opposition be happy you know you are doing something great not always maybe suppose <laughs> you do something nasty you may get opposition so generally that is the thing you become mahapurush means you have something saint teresa of avila you can read her auto